talk about how to use or be jiao, which means comparatively. Be jiao by itself as a verb means to compare, but when put before an adjective or before a psychological verb like like or love or want, then it means relatively or comparatively or rather. So let's look at a couple of examples. This one's from All Set Learning. 我家离市中心比较近. 我家, my home, Li. do you remember that means talking about the distance between things? So 我家离市中心, 市中心 means downtown or the center city, the center of city, um, the city center, I guess. 我家离市中心 比较近, 近 means close. So my house is relatively close to downtown. 我家离市中心比较近. Uh, all set learning. Um, so that so here we have be jiao. It means comparatively, relatively, somewhat, uh, rather, rather close. Does that make sense? Here we have an example of it coming before a verb, a psychological verb or a sensing verb. Uh, not so much. No, not a sensing verb. Psychological verb. 你比较喜欢用Gmail还是Hotmail? Also from All Set Learning. 你比较喜欢比较喜欢比较喜欢 uh, means uh, comparatively like. And, and the way we'd say this in English is, do you prefer, do you comparatively like, do you prefer this or that? Comparatively, do you, do you like this or do you like that? 你比较喜欢用use Gmail, 还是, or, remember that? Hotmail, do you prefer to use Gmail or Hotmail? 你比较喜欢用Gmail还是Hotmail? And then here we have, 这个星期 or 这个星期 这个星期过得比较好 这个星期, this week 过得, this, 过得, um, this is a uh, 过 means to pass or to it means to cross over in its basic meaning but when it's referring to time or life or having a party sometimes like to have a uh, you can go to have a birthday, have a birthday. It means to like, I, to pass a week. I, I don't even know how to describe this, but it's not that difficult. But like, how did this week go? How did this week pass by for you? How did it happen for you? Um, it's just in asking something like, how was this week? In, in Chinese, you'd say, 你这个星期过得怎么样? And the answer could be, 这个星期过得比较好, relatively good. Um, oh, one other point I wanted to, to point out is that this phrase, uh, this word bi jiao is often pronounced bi jiao. Instead of third tone, fourth tone, it's also, it's often pronounced as two third tones together. In fact, that's probably how I say it most of the time. And then I don't know if you've noticed me kind of fixing my pronunciation or clarifying my pronunciation a couple times to say it the, the right way. But, um, it's one of those words, there's a number of them in Chinese where the correct way, the dictionary way, is written one way, but the majority of people in China, not all of them, the majority of people say it a different way. And this is one of those words. So there you go. I hope you're doing great in your learning and enjoying uh, this, this video so far. In this video, we're gonna talk about the, the words Juma and Nama we talked about nama not too long ago, referring to it meaning so or then in that case, but this is different. So ja, the basic meaning of ja is this, and the basic meaning of na is that. And in this case, th this, is, this, this usage is put before an adjective to talk about degree. Like in English, we might say th um, this smart or that fast. I can't believe that car is that fast. Or um, this, I can't believe, this dish is so good. I can't believe it's this good. So this good, that, so so this adjective or that adjective, we have jama adjective or nama adjective to express the same idea. It's talking about a specific degree that's kind of known, uh, like I can't believe it can move this fast. How fast? As fast as it can move. 你的中文, here's some examples. 你的中文, your Chinese, 说的这么好, this good. Your Chinese is this good, 很了不起, 
Han is very liao bu qi. This is le, but in this is sometimes pronounced liao. In this phrase, it is liao bu qi. Uh, it means like incredible, unbelievable, uh, incredible. Your Chinese is so good. Is this good? Your Chinese is this good. That's incredible. How incredible. Something like that. That's one example. 你怎么, you how, or how is it that, you, 你怎么能, can, 做这么好吃的饭? Okay, so well, let's break this down a little bit. 这么好吃 means this tasty or this good. 饭 means food, or it means rice, but in here it means food, or, uh, yeah, food. So it, the, the question is, how can you make such good food? That's how you pronounce it, or that's how you translate it to English. But it's you, how, can, make, and then food is the noun, and the like adjective phrase. Remember, we talked about this in HSK too. Jamahal churda, food that is this good. So it's, it literally would be, and if we would translate it, literally would be how can you make, or how is it that you can make food that is so good, or that is this good. That is this good, um, but yeah, of course we wouldn't say it in that in, in, say it that way in English. We would say, um, "How can you make such good food?" Yo nama nan nan means difficult or hard. So can you guess what that means? Yo nama nan ma. This is a little bit tricky. It's a very simple sentence, but yo, I don't know that we've gone over it yet. Yo. Meaning, um, we, we did in a roundabout way. In HSK2, we talked about mayo, like, wo mayo ni gao, I am not as tall as you. And so, th but this is in a positive way. Um, is it real? So the question means, is it that hard? Is it that hard? Um, or, yeah, is it that hard? But it has to do with, is it as hard as you're saying, or is it as hard as it seems, or something like that? Is it that hard? Yo, nama nama. So, but the, the, the thing I wanted to point out is the, the thing I'm teaching you is nama nan, that difficult. Here we have Jin Tian. This is from All Set Learning. Jin Tian, zama zama long. This is such, you will hear this <laughs> phrase about lung or ra. Is it cold or hot? The weather being cold or hot. Jin Tian, today, how is it this cold? Or you could replace it with hot, depending on the, the, the weather. And you'll notice that um, is in two of these sentences. This sentence here and this sentence here. So it's kind of fun because it, it sounds a little bit like a tongue twister and it, it flows well together. It sounds cool. You want to try it? There we go. Uh, so the, it, but it, it's like, it, it goes well together because it's like, how is it that it's so, it's, it's, it's this whatever or so whatever. And it can be used in, to be exclamatory in a positive way or exclamatory in a negative way. Like, I can't believe it's like this. Uh, also again, nama cannot be pronounced nema. It must, and jama cannot be pronounced jema. It's jama and nama. Uh, also, you can get the same meaning from, uh, from from saying jiayang, which could be pronounced jiayang, when and uh, nayang or neyang, it could be used also in place of these words, but it sounds more formal. So there you go. Uh, anything else to say? Oh yeah, I just wanted to point out that with words like this and that, whether it's like saying this thing, which jiga dong shi. Or negadongshi, or this adjective, jama halcher, or nama halcher. Choosing between saying this or choosing to say that, the the way an English speaker may gravitate to choosing this or that versus a Chinese speaker may differ just a little bit. Obviously, this has to do with something that's close to you. That has something to do with something that's farther away from you. But exactly when you choose to say this versus saying that. Um, that line might be different for an English speaker, and it might be different for 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 just individuals within the same culture. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there and say, you know, like 
This one makes sense because we're talking about today. How is it this cold today? You, you normally wouldn't say that cold, but let's say we're talking about something that happened a week ago. We wouldn't say, how was it that cold? Um, the, the meaning is very similar. It's just this sounds close, that sounds farther away. But sometimes you could use either one in the same sentence and it would mean exactly the same thing. I mean, they both feel fitting. Just wanted to throw that out there. Um, hope that's, uh, that's interesting and can get you thinking, like when you hear a Chinese person saying, choosing to say ja or na or jama nama versus how you would do it if you were to express the same idea, you might find some differences there. But I don't, it's not something you need to worry about because even if the other, the Chinese speaker might have gravitated toward another choice, they will still understand what you're saying. It's, the meaning is still the same. It's just the, the feeling of closeness or farness is a little bit different. So there we have it. We have Jama and Nama.